Hi, do you think the Switch 2 will be able to support the newest Unreal Engine 5 features? Now, this is an interesting question, of course, because uh, one of the key reasons why the Nintendo Switch proved to be um, so successful was, you know, it was a really good machine for third party developers. And moving into this generation, a lot of those third party developers are moving on to Unreal Engine 5. Um, Alex, what do you make of this? I mean, I think there's things that it'll just inevitably. Uh, by virtue of its hardware, it'll support things like Nanite. It'll support things like VSM. It will support Lumen. It could even support Megalites, right? There's nothing stopping that. It's all about performance targets and performance targets are overriding in this case. And I think that's where you'd see the stripping out of these things and or maybe specific versions of those technologies just made for Switch where they make different trade-offs to work in the first place. Um, for example, like hardware lumen, uh, there's probably a way to make that run on Switch really well and compellingly, but it would have to have a different visual look, I would presume, and a different like budgeting than what you would just run on like a normal PC GPU uh, mm -hmm. or CPU for that matter. So, yeah, I think there's going to be differences in that aspect, but I think just because by virtue of the architecture it's written for that it'll support everything as long as it's not too memory intensive which is the one differentiating factor mm -hmm. uh, Oliver? Um, yeah I mean on the surface it does have support for all those technologies I think Megalites is, uh, the fact that it can be supported in, in uh, on paper is maybe a little bit of a yep over promising in terms of what it could do in practice. But I, I mean, I expect that Unreal Engine 5 will run on Switch. I mean, they shut off Matrix Awakens on it, what, like a year ago? We saw that leak um, from the Gamescom, I yep. think 2023 uh, Nintendo briefing there. And I think it should be able to support all those technologies and it should be able to support um, titles in much the same way that the Switch can support Unreal Engine 4. I think the question is, how well do those games scale? And maybe some games scale really well, like the aforementioned Jusson. Perhaps there are some games that scale pretty well. And perhaps um, Gears of War 6 does not scale so well. <laughs> you know, E-Days does not scale so well. So maybe there's a bit of a gradation there. But certainly it can run those technologies and it should be able to do at least a creditable job of that, at least judging from what Epic has been demoing and from what Nintendo has been messaging about their, about their upcoming hardware to development partners. It should be kind of in that realm of acceptability, at least relative to... Yeah, I agree you, with that. I just think, mm -hmm. you know... Yeah. We just need to set expectations for when people say, oh, you know, it runs The Matrix Awakens. We haven't seen yeah. how it runs <laughs> The Matrix That's Awakens. That's true, true. <laughs> so, you know, it's not as if you could just roll out your uh, PlayStation 5 b roll and say, hey, this is what it's doing. It's mm -hmm. likely going to have some um, compromises, and that's absolutely fine for a mobile-based platform. Um, but, uh, I, you know it's going to be a supported platform for um, Unreal Engine 5 for sure. So I'm sure we'll see some some excellent results. And, and I'd love to see it, right? I'd really mm -hmm. love to see what it's capable of doing. Um, but there's just so many question marks with Switch 2 at the moment. Um, but I guess we'll get clarity at some point.